Shalom. Hi. Welcome to Torah Talks. My name is Rabbi Gamaliel. I'm coming to you from Paradis Chana, from the beautiful land of Israel. If you like the content, please give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. Today's episode of Torah Talks, we'll be talking about the power of gratitude. Parashat Ki Tavua, found in the Devarim, Deuteronomy, is a portion of the Torah that contains an abundance of misfort, laws, and commandments given by Hashem to the Israelites as they are about to enter the Promised Land. It also includes a vivid description of the blessings and curses that will befall the Israelites based on their obedience or disobedience to Hashem's laws. One of the central themes of Parashat Kitavo is gratitude. The Israelites are instructed to express their gratitude to Hashem for all the blessings they have received. Upon entering the land flowing with milk and honey, they are to bring the first fruits of their harvest to the Kohanim, priests, and make a declaration of gratitude. This act of giving back to Hashem from their abundance serves as a reminder that everything comes from the divine. This concept of gratitude is particularly relevant to us to, in our lives today. In our fast-paced and materialistic world, it's easy to take things for granted and forget the source of our blessings. Parashat Ki Tavor reminds us to pause and acknowledge the goodness in our lives and express gratitude for it. Expressing gratitude is not only a way to acknowledge the blessings we receive, but also cultivates a positive outlook and fosters a deeper connection with the divine. When we recognize that everything we have is a gift, we become more mindful and appreciative of the present moment. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, enabling us to enjoy, to find joy and contentment in the here and now. Moreover, gratitude is not limited to our relationship to Hashem, but it extends to our relationship with others. Parashat Kitavo emphasizes the importance of communal gratitude. After the decoration of the first fruits, the Israelites are instructed to, to share a communal meal with the Levites, strangers, orphans, and widows. This act of including and providing for those in need teaches us the value of gratefulness in supporting a caring, compassionate community. In our lives, we can follow this example by not, by not only expressing thankfulness to Hashem, but also by expressing appreciation to those around us, recognizing and being aware of the kindness, support, and love we receive from others strengthens our relationships and creates a positive atmosphere of appreciation. Parashat points out to us that gratitude is not merely a passive, passive feeling, but an act of practice. It calls us to action, to convey our thankfulness through acts of giving and kindness. By doing so, we align ourselves with the values of the Torah and create a world that is more compassionate just and filled with gratitude. As we reflect on Parashat Ki Tavor, let us remember to cultivate gratitude, an attitude of gratitude in our lives. Let us express our gratefulness to Hashem for the blessings we have received and let us extend that gratefulness to those around us. Through gratitude, we can find deeper meaning, joy, and connection in our lives and, and contribute to a creation of a better world. Thank you, as always, if you like to comment, Give it, please give us a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. See you next time on Torah Talks. Bye.